What's up guys, it's Logan here from the Motorcycle Forge. Now we are going to make a performance cylinder head completely from scratch at home in the garage. How hard could it be? First up, we need to look up and figure out what makes a performance cylinder head produce so much power. Now the things I'm focusing on is port geometry, valve angles and combustion chamber shape. Now that we've got that done, we've got two books here, chock full of everything we need to know to make a performance cylinder head. Now, the only cylinder heads that I couldn't actually find any information on whatsoever was anything from MotoGP. They've got those secrets locked up real tight. So, I found the next best thing. I bought a cylinder head here from a Moto3 Honda, and this thing's pretty cool. And I found this article on a V10 Formula One cylinder head, and man, this article's amazing. It's got everything you would ever want to know. Now we've got to design our own cylinder head. Something very important to remember when designing is the abbreviation KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. Make sure it's practical and it works and uh, go from there. And so that means I had to learn to do CAD. And man, was that fun. Design one, garbage. Design two, still Design three, actually not too bad. I experimented with a, a barrel throttle body like on a Formula One car. That was pretty cool. And then design number four, bingo. It may look good, but that drawing took me three years. Stupid water jacket. Now that I have this CAD drawing, how am I gonna turn it into a real cylinder head? Now I consulted a few engineering friends and the internet to figure out how to make a cylinder head. Idea number one, 3D print it using a metal 3D printer. Well, uh, no, I can't afford that, so that's out the window. Make a billet cylinder head as a machine it on a CNC machine from scratch and uh, can't do that either. Use a special type of 3D printer that prints sand to print your mold to cast. Well that defeats the purpose of me doing it so that's also out the window. Option four, casting using a green sand method which that is how they've made cylinder heads for years. I thought that was it. I thought it was four options and I'd, I was set on the green sand so I bought all the stuff to do it and I was watching some videos on YouTube and I seen a guy do something called investment casting just on a wee statue. I was thinking, I could use it on a cylinder head. Now this was like a eureka moment. I was like, this could actually work. 3D print something, use this casting investment stuff. Then you've got your, your mold, you, you burn out the head and it leaves an empty mold and cast it. And then this stuff dissolves in water. I'm like, it's perfect. Now, I have no clue if this will actually work. I'm super excited, but it's a tad experimental, so uh, don't take my word for it that this is a good idea. Now, to 3D print something, I actually need a 3D printer. That's what's in the box. So now I've got to assemble this. It will be a bit hard though, because I've almost eaten all the gummy bears already. Now, once the 3D printer is assembled, got to learn to use it. Got to finish getting all the rest of the gear I need to do casting. Learn to do casting. Have a go at casting a cylinder head. Now the rest of that, that'll have to come in another video. But for now, this has been Logan from the Motorcycle Forge. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.